I think, you know, as we're looking at, you know, the right fit for this particular product, it is important to look at that this isn't just a, a widget. This is a, a new way to do an old problem. But if you do it, it's a transformational foundational step to looking at the way you run your business differently. So when we look at our roadmap, we like utilization management, one, because it's a hard problem to solve, prior authorization specifically, but it also is one of the major levers that payers use um, to manage medical cost. You're more competitive when you have more uh, complete, you know, medical, understanding medical cost and your competitive premiums. Um, but it's also the only lever, you know, risk adjustment, you can argue, you get some data, but it's the only thing that the payer can say that says, I mandate clinical data. Give me yeah. clinical data for, to do that. And today, across the board in prior authorization, less than 10% of decisions today in prior authorization, especially in outpatient, have data. They're attestations. And so what it does is it creates an opportunity for you to start managing your business through a data, a clinical data viewpoint. And if you can do that, then obviously there's other things to do it. So what we're looking at is, okay, how would you take advantage of that? The first place we started, no surprise, is where AI is a really good use case. It's a use case driven. AI, as Rob said, can and appropriately can answer the question yes, in many cases more accurately than a nurse can, okay? So let's get that out of the way. It solves the problem. Let's let humans have the conversations they need to have downstream. So that's outpatient prior authorization is where we started, and about 85% of outpatient prior authorization are covered under radiology, musculoskeletal, cardiology, hip and knee, um, and some of the oncology. So that's where we're starting to get the broadest approach, and it's also in a workflow that everyone can start with, we talked about. The rest of utilization management includes other workflows in other portions of the, of the equation. So if you look at concurrent review is coming to you through a different workflow. That's a, it's a good use case. It's a little bit different approach towards solving that. So if you look at the rest of, this, of the next series of, of interactions, it will include post-service medical necessity. Uh, you start looking at your acute care and your post-acute care discharge, concurrent review. So we're gonna look at those other utilization management process, because when you're finished with that, now you have all of the payer provider workflows connected. Yeah. That's important, and data flowing through it. So that's really our next series of steps, but each one of them has a different thesis. It's a different value proposition. It's a different series of investments. So when you look at our product portfolio for utilization management, it looks like your traditional prior authorization, post-service medical assessment review, so forth. That's how we look at the business side. But I would argue just as a, as a group, what, what we look at is this technology uh, when you really think about it, it's a stair step towards more of a value-based care-oriented solution. We now can say we understand, based on our understanding of your medical policy, when, it's, when the clinical data matches its appropriate use criteria. Yeah. Now, that is a, that's a good statement. It doesn't say that I know what is good care. Right? I don't that's know right. what the outcome is. And so that's what we like the idea. We have scored that data against the medical policy. Now let's start asking different questions. Where was care delivered more effectively? That starts to look like more like your risk adjustment and other scenarios. So we start looking at where we're starting to point the to technology. It's in the roadmap towards adding more capabilities and based on those capabilities, start to answer those questions. So that's, you'll see, you know, I think availability positions itself well as being now the network not just a network of transactions, but a network of solutions that allows the providers and the payers to deliver care more, more effectively. That would be a drop the mic moment for me if we were to say that in, in a few years.